Hey guys, it's Cayman here. Last week we drew a really spooky witch, but I figured that a witch is never really complete without a witch hut to live in. And that's what I'm going to be showing you my process for this week. If you want some golden tips on composition, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I like to start with a thumbnail just so I can, just so I know what I'm doing. I painted this up in like maybe two or three minutes, not too long. But the reason I start small is I want to know if the picture works from a distance. And so how well does it read if I zoom out? I want the house to be the main focus. A helpful tool is the navigator panel. If you don't see this tool right away, you can access it by clicking window and then going down to navigator and then clicking it. So what I did is I made a new layer and I set the blend mode to color and now I'm trying to lay out my colors on top of the sketch. This is just a quick way of getting my colors down. So now that I have my sketch down, I'm playing around with the composition a bit more. I tend to stay really loose in this early stage, so that I can have the freedom to really change things around. So there it is folks, those are my tips for drawing a spooky little scene. Let me know if this video helps you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm certain you'll love to see this video where I paint the spooky witch Baba Yaga. Be sure to leave suggestions for what you'd like to see in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.